Welcome back. This is Snail Trek. I hope it's an interesting one. It looks like it's a text adventure. So this is Chapter 1, Intersheller. It's free on Steam. And so I'm going to give it a go. I want to see what it's about. It looks like it's a, maybe a funny text adventure. Sure. So they're decelerating from faster than light travel. Searching. Entering planetary orbit. Oh, it's green. Okay. Illuminating crew quarters. Hey. Unable to open stasis pod 4. That's not good. One opened, okay. Oh, looks like I go around like that. Oh, and enter commands, look around, sure. Look around. This is a spacecraft in which you travel to the planet K291B. Its elegant single room design supports a large view screen, a computer console, and four stasis spots so that the crew members can survive the long journey. The exit hatch is on the floor. Along the walls are the lettuce-o-matic machine, your food source, a maintenance closet, and what looks like a loose floor panel. And finally, the high-tech spacecraft engine with its throbbing blue line thingies. Ooh. Uh, look engine? Oh, ooh, it's powered by Zesta Motors XT-17 engine with turbo and cabulator. <laughs> turbo and cabulator. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It's a hilarious YouTube bit. Old school. <clears throat> Tri-shaft exhaust flanges, photon extension bearings, and ignition thrust technology. The past year, it was overhauled and upgraded to run on biodiesel. Any kind of natural oils. Okay, you tolerate the slight smell of fried food in exchange for the smug satisfaction that you're using a renewable fuel source. It seems to be running low on fuel at the moment. Uh oh, we're running low on fuel. Alright, can I steal the lettuce? Is this the lettuce thing? Take lettuce. You need to open the machine first. Alright. Open machine. The lettuce o has tentacle print scanners that requires the Botanist, unlock it. She's in one of the stasis pods. Okay. So one of these pods has our botanist in it. Uh, open pod. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, why did I sign up for this? I feel like crap. Okay, are you the botanist? Wow, that's it. The lettuce planet. Looks amazing. Can't wait to land on it and actually see all that lettuce. We're so close. Uh, can I talk to you? Can I just say talk? All the mission info should be on the computer. Why don't you check it out? Ooh, is this the computer? Uh, use computer. Ah, mission parameters, navigation, science, encyclopedia, communication. Okay, well, what is our mission? Travel to a suspected lettuce-filled planet to verify its prospect as a new home for our race and our dying homeworld. Uh-oh, why is our homeworld dying? Space for next page. Once planet has been verified to the crew's satisfaction as being lettuce, send home the all green signal to the home world. This will be the signal to begin our race's mass migration to the planet. Okay. Uh, what about two? Uh, faster than light, leave orbit, descend to the planet. Oh, no, let's not do that yet. Uh, space to go back. Okay. Science. Atmosphere, standard oxygen levels, planetary life, lettuce, and other greenery detected. Sensory accuracy, 97%. Okay. Uh, encyclopedia. Ooh, are these like enemies? Z-Hawks are non-Molluscian race located in the Gamma Quadrant on the planet's Pepin. Not much is known about them. A number of hostiles in have occurred. Hostilities have occurred. Recommendation is to avoid contact. It's kind of hard to read that pixelated material. Anatomy, four appendages, each with five small sub-appendages, sometimes called fingers or toes. Okay, so the Z-Hawks are humans. Got it. Intelligence, questionable. <laughs> Common craft, baguette, class destroyer. Oh, I should point out, I did notice this earlier in the options. I turned off the CRT emulation, but you can turn it on. I think it looks pretty good, but I've got it off because this is kind of at a weird resolution, and so it encodes funky on YouTube, so I just avoid it. But when you're playing in person, it actually kind of looks cool if you like it. All right. Let's check out the Octoids, huh? Eight-armed molluscoids that populate several planets in the Gamma Quadrant. Highly advanced technology, but they generally leave other races alone. Post no threat, threat. Okay, so you get uh, octopus, okay. Eight appendages ten called tentacles and a soft body, okay. There we go. And what are the Crichtons? A slow-moving molluscoid race from the planet Crichton. Th though intelligent, they are not known to possess space travel. What are they? Wait, the Crytans. Weird. What, what would those be? They're molluscoids. So are they, like, just the snails from Earth, I guess? I don't know. That's weird. All right, and lastly, communication... Wait, is that say six, not five? One, two, three, four, six? Okay. <laughs> Send all green signal home planet. See mission parameters for more info. Well, we can't do that yet, because we, uh, we gotta check it out first. All right, space to exit. 
All right, research all races and the ship's computer. Sweet. I unlocked an achievement. Oh, you can't even see that. I've, I've got the bottom of the screen cut off. Oh, well. I, I cut off the bottom of the screen because it doesn't display any of the actual game down there, but apparently that's where the Steam achievements show up. Wow, we made it. Huh, so that's supposed to be our new home, huh? It looks so green. When are you going to send the all green signal? Well, i got to check things out first, bucko. I don't just go off half-cocked. Uh, talk. Just talk, right? <clears throat> that planet is so green and lettucey. We should send the all green signal. Are you the botanist? Uh, uh, ask machine? I don't know. I want, <laughs> I want him to open up the lettuce matic I'm hungry. I want a snack. Uh... Use lettuce. Oh wow! Can I? How can I spell that? Can I tab to it? No, lettuce. Oh, magic tab. Okay, it's got tab completion. Good. Let me help with that. It needs my tentacle print to open. Ah, so she's the botanist, or he? I don't know. There, it should be good to go now. Hmm, things don't look so good inside the lettuce matic machine. Oh no, are we out of lettuce? The watering can looks empty. What happened to the water? Oh no. We're gonna die of starvation. What's this thing? Is this like for repairs? Uh, look. What is that? Uh, look. Just look. Maintenance closet. Usually Zoomer deals with that. Okay. Who's Zoomer? Uh, well, let's just say open closet. Let me help with that. Needs my tentacle print to open it. Really? I can't open the maintenance closet? What can I do? The closet contains a wrench and a mop. Alright. There. It should be good to go now. Well, take wrench. All right. I got that in my inventory. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Hey, I've got a secret code. This is your partial code for sending the all green signal to your race. 69. All right. Oh. Uh, and then let's take the mop. Okay. So I've got a mop. Oop. All right. I've got a mop and a wrench. Oh. Use the computer to land the ships on the planet. What's the delay? Uh, well, there's one more crew member, and they look like they're not doing so hot. Look at that. Like, this... That looks all messed up, right? Look, Pod. This one contains the captain, Elonia Mollusk. At least you think it does. It appears to be badly damaged. There is what appears to be burn mark on the outside, and the covering of the pod is cracked. We should figure out how to open the captain's stasis pod. I hope she's okay. Uh, open pod. The door mechanism on the captain's pod appears to be broken. You'll need to find another way to open it. In fact, the entire pod appears quite badly damaged. The glass is cracked and there are burn marks. You can't see inside that well, but it doesn't look good. You better open it quickly. The captain's life might be in danger. Uh, use wrench. Oops. If I can type. Using the wrench, you take a good whack at the glass cover of the pod. It cracks a bit, but that's pretty sturdy glass. Oh, okay. Why don't you let me do that? I'm pretty sure I'm stronger than you. Do it. I don't care. Wham! Hey, sweet. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Captain Alonia's been salted. Is that Captain Alonia? It smells like butter. Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. It's butter. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Got it. And is that garlic? How are we going to complete our mission without a captain? This is horrific. How did this happen? Zoomer, you're the maintenance person. If anyone had the opportunity... Well, you're the botanist, Shelly. Who else would have had access to garlic? Why would I do something like that? Wait, Christian, didn't you awaken first? Oh, so I'm Christian, okay. Yeah, you were out of stasis first. Hmm. You gather your composure. Guys, guys, we're all in this together. We're professionals. For the sake of our race, we need to do our job. Let's calm down and I'll figure it out what to do. Our immediate goal is to get to the planet and then we can investigate what happened to the captain. All right. Is that one of the captain's tentacles? Ew. You mean eye stalks? Can I, ooh, uncover the first big mystery was that achievement. The investigator. Take tentacle. You reach into the buttery mess and pick up what remains of the captain's sensory tentacle. Ooh, yummy. All right. Uh, how about use computer? And then we'll tell it to land onto the planet. Faster than light, leave orbit, and descend to the planet. Number two. There we go. All right. Unable to initiate landing. Fault and insufficient fuel for leaving orbit. Fault B, starboard landing gear, too loose for landing. Okay. So I need fuel, and I need to fix the landing gear on the starboard side. All right. Mm. Well, 
What's five? Function not supported. <laughs> okay. How about seven? Eight, nine, zero? No, nothing. Okay. We have no fuel. Our landing gear is broken. How will we get to the planet? Um, that's a good question. Uh, you want to take care of that zoomer? Uh, talk zoomer. Our poor captain. Yeah, uh, how about you fix something? Uh, I don't know. Ask zoomer to fix. <laughs> what do you want to fix? Um, fix landing gear. You don't see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, how about this? Try enter hatch. Sure, okay. Enter hatch. Okay, good. That was a good hint. Uh, let's look at the button thing first, huh? Let's just look. Large button above the little scanner. Look button. Okay, look scanner. Is it going to tell me anything? It's a tentacle print scanner, only activated with your captain's tentacle. Oh, got it. The light on it is currently red. Use tentacle. You press your dead captain's tentacle against the tentacle print scanner. The scanner light changes from red to green. It looks like it worked. Oh, our poor captain. But at least her tentacle worked. Oh, wait, no. Enter hatch. I forgot to look at the scanner now. Look, scanner. Uh, oh, just green. That's all it is. All right, got it. Um... Well, now that it's green, what do you think that does? Uh, that, that doesn't seem like that changed anything, right? What would that do? Um, look, engine. No, well, same sort of thing. Oh, it uses any oil. Okay, so we want to we want to take the watering can. Oh, this is this is gonna get gross. <laughs> take can. You remove the entering watering can from the machine's internal mechanisms, since it clearly isn't going to do the job in the broken lettuce matic machine. Okay. Uh, use can on butter? Good idea, but how will you get into the watering can? The can has a large opening on top. If you could get it below the butter... How would I get below the butter? Can I open grate? Open grate? Great won't budge. The grate appears to be really well made. Maybe there's another way to get down there. All right. Um, let's look at the machine, huh? Look, lettuce, omatic. How do I? There we go. Lettuce. Oh no, I don't know how to like switch to the other one. Lettuce, omatic. I don't, it'll do tab completion, but I can't figure out how to like choose between it. It's basically an automated nursery machine for lettuce. It's designed to turn on shortly before the ship's passengers wake up from stasis and provide you fresh lettuce for your trip. It looks like it has malfunctioned and has run out of water. Everything looks dry and wilted. Okay. No water, no food. Yep. Okay, but, well, crap. All right. So how would I get down below it? Can I enter pod? Enter pod? It's already open and broken. All right. How about I just get back into my pod or... Enter pod. No, just wants me to open it. Um, well, let's just check the closet one more time. Look, closet. Make sure I didn't miss anything. It's empty. Okay. Do you guys have any suggestions? Gonna starve to death till we get to the planet. Helpful suggestion. Good job. Uh, looks like there's a loose floor panel on the on the upper left. Maybe you should take a look. Wait, a loose floor panel on the upper left. Is that this? Open panel? You move aside the floor panel a little more and reveal some sort of hole. What? Okay. Uh, enter hole. Yeah. Okay. Uh, place can. You carefully position the watering can beneath the grate. Uh, how am I going to... Oh, mop. Got it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the mop here. Use mop. Push it all down the grate. Now we've got Elonia's remains. They're all cleaned up. Ew. Well, time to use our poor captain as fuel. Can I just say, like, go? Go hole? Okay. 
Enter hole. If I can type right. Alright. Take can. It's sloshing around. Alright, here we go. Uh, use can. You open the fuel cap and carefully pour the still warm butter onto the engine's fuel compartment. Oh, still warm. Gross. Okay. Uh, and now how will we get to the landing gear is the question. Well, let's just see what happens if I say land. Uh, wait. Sure, let's see stuff. We've got empty watering can, a mop, a wrench, a tentacle, and a secret code. All right. Use computer. And we're going to try to land again and see what happens. Leave orbit and descend to the planet. Okay, so we got the fuel. Starboard landing gear too loose for landing. How am I going to get to the starboard landing gear? Um, where would... I mean, the starboard's on the right. Uh, look... Panel? This is the floor panel you moved aside. The floor panel is not very interesting, but surely that hole leads somewhere. Yeah, I already went into that hole. Uh, enter lettuce o -matic. It's already open. Hmm. Okay, what, what do we have? We got a mop, which we used. We've used the top three. Oh, well, we've used the top four. We've used everything except for the secret code. I guess we could try to use something again. But I don't know how we would do that. Um, what if I just say fix uh, landing gear? You don't see that. Uh, look, starboard? I don't know. It's a small console with some number keys to control the ship's computer. It just looks very simple to use. Just crawl up and type use. Oh, you only have to say use. You don't even have to say what you're using. Okay, got it. That's good to know. Well... Let's say use here. Um, that just did the same thing. So I can open it or I can close it, but I can't go into it. Uh, well, let's close it. Does that also close the landing gear? I can't imagine it does, but let's see. Fault B, starboard landing gear, too loose for landing. How would I tighten the landing gear? Um, well, I guess I should probably save while I'm at it, huh? Sure. Okay. Um, can I say tighten gear? I don't understand tighten. Um, use wrench. This machine isn't fixable with a wrench. It looks like it's out of water. Yeah, I got that. But where starboard means right. How could I get out of here to fix the landing gear? Um, use wrench here. Okay, enter hatch. That only goes there. Um, so we got the hole. Enter hole. Can I get to the landing gear here? Use wrench. You whack the grate with the wrench, but it doesn't budge. At least some parts of the spacecraft are well constructed. Okay. Oh, how would I? How would I get the landing gear? Um. Let's see. We got the engine and the computer. I've tried to use those, but where would the landing gear be? Uh. Ask. Landing gear? Um, ask. So they're responding to ask, but that's about it. Um, ask fix? I just work here. Yeah, come on, man. Fix stuff. Fix. What do you want to fix? Fix gear. Mm, fix starboard. Uh, go starboard. Hmm. I don't know how I would get to the landing gear to fix it. What am I missing? Uh, look around. Maybe it'll give me a hint. Okay, single room. Stasis pods. Exit hatch on the floor. Along the walls. Let us... Omatic. 
a maintenance closet and what looks like a loose floor panel, which I've already done all those things. And finally, the high-tech spacecraft engine with its throbbing blue line things. That's it. Those are the only things. How? Uh, I've already used the wrench. I can't imagine I would use that again. Uh, can I just close the closet? Close closet. Um, sure, let's... Oh, move panel. Maybe that loosened things? It's fine where it is. The ship has an intergravitational inertial damping thruster, thrust fluxors, so it won't go flying when the ship moves. Okay, great. Uh, how about... Can we move the ship? Um, I just can't figure out what I have to do. Mission parameters. We're already here. Yep. Okay. All green signal. Once the planet has been verified as being lettuce, send the all green signal to the home world. This will be the signal to begin our mass migration. Well, let's do this. How about let's, uh, let's do another save point. Save checkpoint. And let's, uh send the all green signal see what happens uh, four crew codes to transmit signal 6969 enter a number or space to go back okay so that didn't work so I have to have the codes okay um let's say ask code uh, well we wouldn't starve if you would help me Use wrench. I can't use the wrench on the engine, huh? Empty watering can, mop, wrench, tentacle. Is there a place to use the tentacle? Can't use it there. How about on her pod? How about on the machine? There's gotta be a way to do this. What am I missing? All right, I'm going to pause real quick, and I'm going to look this up because I'm stuck. Give me a minute. All right, so it looks like I have just missed a simple thing in here. They just said that you could go down to leave the spacecraft. So can I go down? It doesn't look like it, right? Let's, let's look around. Uh, spacecraft's airlock. There's a large button on the left wall. All right, so I must have missed something else. Uh, all right, sorry. <laughs> pause again. All right, it's definitely telling me in the walkthrough that the next step that I've missed so far is in here. It just says that I can go, once I've turned on this button, they say go down to leave the spaceship. Do I have to type go down? I don't understand. Exit. No. Enter hatch. So there's somewhere I, I just am not seeing thing. Uh, push button uh oh, I never pushed the button I'm an idiot okay well uh, they said the landing gear on the starboard side so it's got to be this guy right and fix you diligently tighten the bolts of the landing gear thus securing it back into place how far can I get whoa what's that Ooh, can I go up to the side of the ship Explore a bit beyond the confines of your ship. Oh, did I die? Seems like you've drifted off into space. Try again! Oh, sure. Where was I? Okay. I just wanted to see what was out there. All right. Fix. Ah, oh, come on. Fix. All right. Well, I don't want to die, so let's go back in. I wanted to explore around the ship, but, you know, I guess I've got limited fuel here. All right, uh, push. Oh, come on, push button. Here we go. All right, so far so good. Now, use, navigate, and descend to the planet. Here we go, press 1 to confirm descent. Oh, confirmed. Wow, here we go, thank goodness. Finally! Oh, we're going down. 39 out of 46. So far, so good. Uh-oh. Who's following us? 
And what was that falling? Is that a creepy? Wow, it looks so beautiful. Fields of lettuce, our new home world. It's so green, it almost doesn't look real. Uh oh. Oh, evil. What happened? Saul. An illusion. What's going on? Where are we? We've been drawn in. Baited, as it were. What's that thing? It's like a radio tower. To be continued in Chapter 2. Achievement Touchdown. Land on the planet. Alright, well I only got 44 out of 46, so clearly there's something else in here to be found. And then there's a whole bunch of chapters, so if you're excited about text adventures, if you'd like to try this one out, then go check out Snail Trek on Steam. I think most of them are free, if not all of them, but they're interesting, kind of nod to the retro text adventure, and I think they're a lot of fun. And if you want me to do more of them, well then let me know, comment down below, like this, and I'll get back to doing more of these. Alright, I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.